Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Ryan here. Welcome back, new subscribers. And today I will be giving a quick market update with what is going on in the cryptocurrency world. So let's begin here. I'm on coinmarketcap.com. And as many of you have probably seen, the market cap is seems to be growing uh, very quick here. We, we're now approaching about 800 billion and we're approaching the $1 trillion mark. So I, I think that we're definitely going to hit that pretty soon as, as far as, you know, for 2018 goes, I definitely see us surpassing one trillion and, you know, three to five trillion and even possibly even more. Um, so today I just want to kind of talk about some of my upcoming trades. Um, there's two coins that I have in mind. One is called G coin. The other is called bunny coin. And I'm just going to give my reasoning about why I plan to invest in them and how I came about finding them. I'm also still holding my ECA. So those of you holding your ECA, I just say hold tight. Uh, you know, coins market should be be back up shortly. And also ECA, hopefully uh, it'll be on some some other exchanges as well in the, in the near future. So I would just say hold on tight there. Um, so pretty much what I've been looking for now is kind of... Um, Momentum plays, you know, coins that are going to kind of really get some action here. Um, so just kind of filtering by price, you know, as much as you have probably seen, you know, Patcoin really, uh, really went on a crazy run here. You know, their market cap is about 500 million now. And this all started very recently. And I think I saw some videos about, you know, some guys buying them, some car guys on YouTube. And the reason was because they're so cheap. And I really like, I think that the cheap, the price of the cheap coins really draws a lot of people in. So as, as you can see here, Kin, Kin, another cheap coin. Um, but all these coins already have very large market caps. So I'm not really interested in any of these. So I'm going to go to the next page. Um, so let's see here. Boon coin. Oh, there's a lecture right there. Um, yeah, you know, these these as well, they're a little bit too high market cap. So let me go to the third page here. Now, Sprouts, look at that, 413%. Um, you know, and this, you know, what I'm doing here, this isn't investment advice. I'm just showing you guys what I'm doing. Um, these are kind of, I'm just going for really fast momentum plays, trying to anticipate the momentum before it happens. Um, you know, because we're we're in we're in cryptocurrency world, and I'm not really trying to get a 40, 50 percent gain. I'm definitely trying to get a hundred percent gain plus. I was just I was looking at New York Coin last night, and it was at like forty percent. Now it's at two hundred thirteen percent. Um. But you know, where was I at here? Uh, New York coin, it's already ran 213%. This ran 220%. This one ran 413%. Fedora coin would be, you know, would look at the most interesting here because of the cheap price and it did, really didn't run that much yet. But the one thing I see that I don't like is that it doesn't have that much volume. 151,000, that's just not really too much. Let's go to the next page and see what we can find. Uh, 1337. Okay, decent. A photon. I was actually holding photon, and I sold right before that really big run up that it had. Um, nothing that I really like there. And I think uh, let's see here, G coin. Now G coin. I really like G coin. I re really like where G coin's sitting. I like the low market cap. I like that it was recently getting a large amount of volume. This amount of volume here is a little bit obscured because recently Cryptopia their Litecoin markets have went down um, due to you know something with their servers, a lot of large traffic increase, as well as coins markets are both both down there. Um, but let's take a look here at Gcoin. Market cap of 20 million, um, very low price, which I like. And it's just recently kind of starting to get some attention here. Um, it had this first initial spike, and now it kind of consolidated and 
kind of had a sell-off, and it looks like it's getting ready to test at all-time high again. Um, and also, if you look at the historical data, uh, if you look at the volume here, which I'm looking at, it kind of, let's see here, it started to get some attention and growing, growing, 880,000, a, a million, 990, and gener this this is the day, this is when, um, you know, Coins Markets is now down and also um, Cryptopia's Litecoin market, which is, let's see. Cryptopia Litecoin market, which accounts for most of the volume, is down right now. So, um, when like when the Cryptopia's Litecoin market gets back up, I definitely plan to take a position in that. Um, I just think that this coin has a bunch of upside where it's sitting. Um, let's see here. Buzzcoin actually, I looks very nice as well. My brother actually holds a position in this at the moment. Um, and Buzzcoin, I believe, is on Coins Markets, but as of right now, Coins Markets is still down, re updating their servers. Uh, Yobit, it's getting some volume there. Coin Exchange, Trade Satoshi. And if I go to the next page here, another one that I was, you know, and the farther down you get in the Coins Markets cap, Coin Market cap, you got to be a little wary. Um, some of these coins are kind of iffy. Inflation coin, I thought, really looked interesting. Um, this is also another proof of stake coin. This is on the Cryptopia Litecoin market. Um, just starting to get some some attention, some volume here. And pretty much what I'm trying to do is trying to anticipate the trying to anticipate these large large percentage increases before they happen here. Um, and let's be honest, you know, do I am I going to hold inflation coin long term? Probably not. Um, I'm just trying to anticipate, you know, some movement here. Um, so I'm looking for bunny coin. What was it on? Was it? Did I go this far down? I'm not sure where bunny coin is. Let me give it a search. Bunny coin. So bunny coin has a market cap of about 10 million. Uh, price of about I see. It's in the Satoshi's here, but it's like in the negatives. I can't even, it's so small. Um, 0. 0.000101 USD. And it's just getting some attention. And it's on the Cryptopia Litecoin markets as well. So if you take a look at the historical data. This one, uh, it wasn't as getting as much volume as as G Coin. G Coin was had a couple, I think, a day where it hit a million in volume. This one is, but as you can see, just following the trend here, it's you know starts out you know four eight fourteen twenty low day twelve thirty five eighty three. You can see it's growing three thirteen through six two thirty and two thirty. This is where it's the day where now everything's down, but. Um, if you look at the market cap over here, it's also growing as well, trending up. Um, these are good signs that I really think it's going to keep increasing, and it just takes that little bit of spark. I'm trying to get in before the run, before the big run up. So, like I said again, what I'm trying to do here is I'm just trying to anticipate these big movements before they happen. Um, you know, could I be wrong? Yes, of course, but that's just the risk I'm going to take, and. Um, you know, this is just my my own style that I'm doing for right now, and let's just do a quick ECA overview. And ECA sitting at about 0 0.008288, about 48 satoshis. And also, um, from what I hear, that uh, ECA is actually trading on Coinhouse, Coinhouse.eu website, and I believe it's trading for about a little bit over a penny. Um, so we have to wait and see what happens with with coin markets exchange and when they're going to be back up and running and you know what that how that's going to affect the price of ECA in the future and also if ECA gets on any other exchanges going forward so you know of course you know for the growth of a coin the it's very um, it's very important to be on other multiple exchange exchanges so we'll see what happens there and just kind of 
you know, I think this is this is the time when the whole coins markets exchange crashed. Um, now it's just kind of hovering a little bit sideways trending, a little bit of upwards trending there. But overall, I, I'm still very bullish on ECA. I think it's a great coin. I think it has a lot of a lot of upside from here. And what are my predictions on ECA? I think I could definitely make it to within the top 100 coin without a doubt. And I, I actually believe top 50 coin as well. Um, so if you take a look now at the top 50 coins, you know, right now it's it's ECA versus Verge. Verge is at number 24, and I, I definitely think ECA holds a lot more value than Verge at this moment. It's just a matter of time until ECA gets on more exchanges, and Verge is sitting at number 24 spot. So that is just that just I definitely believe ECA. I can see ECA sitting around where Verge is at, possibly even higher. Um, so this is Coin House. And just to give you guys a quick little overview of you know I've been waiting here. Uh, Cryptopia now they have paused their Litecoin markets so I am very interested in getting in this G coin I really like what I see with the price action it went up hit its high it topped it came down it looks like it hit a low here and it looks like it's gonna start up trading up trending at this point but uh, markets are paused markets are paused and the volume on this was very nice right before the markets were paused it was had a lot of volume and bunny coin a little bit less volume so i think you know g coin right now is a better pick but bunny coin i really do like the chart here as well setup looks like it's gaining some momentum uh and what do both coins have in common they're both very cheap looking for cheap coins to buy a lot of them and looking for a large percentage increase so there you have it. Um, if you guys have any questions, any feedback, please leave me a, a comment below, a question comment below. And don't forget to uh, press the like button and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Okay, see you guys later. Have a good day.